What up, my fellow elites? It is great to be back. Yeah. Man, I, it's been too long since I started a playthrough, and I'm just so pumped to start another one up. It's been too long, probably since, it's been like, what is it, November? I stopped in August, so August, oh my gosh, it's been like at least two months. Jeez, that is too long, and why isn't this working? There we go, let's just, I don't, I don't know what happened, but yeah. While this intro is going on, I'm going to let you guess what game it is, even though you've probably seen it in the title and all that. Yeah, my elites, we are back playing Pokemon, but I don't know which person you're gonna. I hope you know, cause yeah. But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let the intro go on while I explain a couple of things. One, this is a oh, how do you, what is it called? A randomizer Nuzlocke challenge. I know a lot of people have done this. A lot of YouTubers have done this before, and I'm not trying to copy any of them. I just thought it would be interesting and. Like, I want to do it. I want to do an, a Nuzlocke, and I want to have it randomized. So that means all the Pokemon that I encounter are going to be random, so they can be from Gen 1, 2, or 3. And if you haven't figured out what version it is, go to the corner and think about what you have accomplished in your life. We are playing Pokemon Emerald version! Yeah! Third Gen, we are in the Hoenn region. Our third Pokemon playthrough. And what better way to start it with by playing the third... The third Gen. And, yeah, this is going to be great. Let me just set my options real quick. And I, Am I talking to a British accent? I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's been too long since I recorded this stuff, and I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. So, let's see. I, let's see. Let's get this awesome. Um, I usually go with this purdy one. It's, it's so purdy. <laughs> All right. So, doesn't that look more gorgeous? And, by the way... I bought full version of Vanny Cam, so no more water park at the top of this video. If you haven't noticed that, look up right now. Woo! This is awesome and unlimited recording, so I don't have to pause the video and all that. But yeah, let's get this started. If you have, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke challenge is, it's pretty much I'll I'll leave the link for the rules and all that in description. But anyway, I just want to well, let me just explain it. First of all, you have to catch the first Pokemon you encounter from every route. If you don't, well, you're and you're an idiot, and you're gonna lose a Pokemon. And well, I'm gonna use the what is it called? One of those clauses, the Pokemon clauses, like the species clause. That's what it's called. Which, if you already caught that the a Pokemon and it, it's the first Pokemon you encounter in another route, well, then you can go to you can look for another Pokemon that's different, and then you can catch that one. If that makes sense, y'all, y'all guys know the species clause, I hope. And yeah, so it basically, y'all know that once a Pokemon faints, it is com considered dead, and I, I can no longer use it. And the challenge ends whenever all I have no available Pokemon left to battle with, whenever they're all dead. And that's when I'll end off the series. Hopefully, I can get to the champion at least. And I have one more thing. It's a really huge confession. Okay, here, here's my confession, guys. I have never beaten Pokemon Emerald version in my life. <gasps> what? Yeah, I know, I know. I, it, I don't know. I just never beaten this game before. It, so, like, I gotten like eight, seven badges. That's like the most I gotten in this game. So I know how to, what to do all the way up until that point. But after like, after, I don't know. I, after like the eighth badge, that's where I get lost and don't know what to do. I'm like, uh, it's, it's just weird, but. Anyway, alright, here's, sorry to keep you waiting, I was keeping Birch waiting, but whatever. What's up, he looks, he's just like, he just has a, like a creepy smile on his face. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, why thank you Birch, my name is Birch, how did I know that? Because yeah, uh, I'm not a stalker at all. But anyway, <laughs> everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor, that's what we call a Pokemon, he got a lot bad, oh a lot bad. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon and at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. That seems very professional. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. Man, I, I, I respect that, dog. I respect that. <laughs> Alright, and you are... I am a boy. No, there. <laughs> 
But anyway, I'm. Let's see. I what the? Well, I did Bulba in my last two playthroughs, but I have like a new style of recording. I got. It's like I'm a whole new person. I'm gonna put BEL. That's my acronym, Bulba Elite League. That is my official channel acronym right there. Y'all can call me that and all that. It don't matter. So it's BEL. I'm probably gonna get tired of saying that, but I'll just. I'll bear with me. Ah, oh, okay. So you're BEL who's moving into my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. I don't know what accent I'm doing, but I like it. It pleases me. Alright. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Took courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships will wait. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me at my Pokemon lab. Alright, dog. I'll see you later. And, oh, this is kind of sketchy. I'll, looks like I just got kidnapped, thrown into the back of a truck, and, like, taken somewhere without knowing. But actually, no. This is actually all my stuff. And we stop. I see the light. Let's go. First step into the game. Boop. Oh, this looks lame. Psych. <laughs> Alright, B.E.L., we're here, honey. That's my mom. What the heck? Okay, that doesn't look like her, but whatever. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, B.O. Let's go inside. Well, I got my own room. This is a big upgrade for me. Like, seriously. Uh, a seat, B.O. Isn't this nice here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. B.O., your room's upstairs. Go and check it out, dear. Dad's bought a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. And we got the moving Vigoros. They're like, this dude's like humping the TV. What the heck? That's creepy. And yeah, this dude doesn't know where to put that box. Where's he going? He doesn't know where he's going. He's like, oh, is it this way? This oh, Okay. I, I have so much energy. Just saying. All right. So he said, check the clock. All right. I actually do want to. I actually like doing this stuff. Setting the clock. And I actually have the super speed. Ha! That's right. Because I have to use super speed. And that is not the time. I like using super speed. Alright, so it is currently 49 right now. 549. Yes, it is. That is the correct time. Fun fact, I record this earlier than I upload it. Like, no dirt, but... <laughs> BEL, do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient, but he was humping the TV. How is that convenient? All right. Oh, you should make sure that everything's on there on your desk. Yeah, because I don't want to. I hope the Big Roth didn't leave a little surprise on my desk, right? All right. So I'm gonna go in here, withdraw the potion, because that's where my life savings went to one freaking potion. And somehow that, yeah. Oops. All right. I've been pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. Now I got it right. All right. So let's go downstairs. And I, I wanted to say something, but I forgot what it says. But yeah, she's watching TV. Oh, be it, come quickly. She's watching TV. Look, it's Pelberg Gym. My dad may, will be on. Maybe dad will be on. We brought you this one before in front of the Pelberg Gym. Pelberg Gym. Oh, it's over. It's over. My dad's a gym leader. That's pretty sick. Like I already knew that, but yeah, never mind. Okay, Professor Birch's name. He's my. He's a friend of my dad. Apparently, he lives right next door. So you should go over and introduce yourself. I will introduce myself to whoever this mysterious person is. Next door. Who is this? It will, Professor Birch's house. Sweets. Let's go inside. Oh, there's a mom waiting for me. There's a, there's, I never noticed that one little girl at the top right of this of the screen right there. All right. Anyway. Oh, hello. And you are. Da, 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 da. Oh, you're B.E.L., our next door neighbor. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Well, you think. So she could be out partying, and you'll just think she's up here. She's not even up here. So she is partying. Oh, she left the Pokeball. Let's see what's inside. Come here. Oh, hello. Who's this? Oh, you are? Oh, you're B.E.L., you moved in today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I, I have this Zoom becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you from BL for my dad. For my I'm gonna have like a nervous breakdown for her or something. All right, I was hoping that you would be nice, BEL, that we could be friends. Oh, isn't this silly? Isn't it? Uh, I've just met you, BEL. Oh, sorry about that. I just had a big sub. Yeah, that was a good subway. All right, anyway. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Oh, oh no, I forgot. She's getting excited for me. She wants the beak. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. If you ever see hear me mentioning Harigama. 
that is Harigama is the penguin with the clown hat that you see on my profile picture. That is Harigama, and the beak. Well, I'll let your parents. I'll let, I'll wait for your parents to give you the little talk so you can know what the so I can tell you, so I can tell you what the beak means. Uh, you know, that's awkward. Uh, I was supposed to tell you. All right, I was supposed to go help that catch some wild Pokemon. BL, I'll catch you later. All right, you just go on your computer and let's see. Oh, a Game Boy. No way. Nintendo. Oh, GameCube. Game Boy Advance connected to serve as a controller. That is sweet. That's a gold GameCube. I wish I had one of those. All right. Anyway. Um. Okay, so, alright, this is the part where you go up here and there's like, there's a chick just right there. What the heck? Um, hi, there are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear the cries. I want to go and see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go and see what's happening for me? Girl, I don't have Pokemon either. What makes you think I can go up there? Alright, anyway. Help me! <laughs> He's getting chased by a cute little Zigzagoon. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Old man getting chased by sweet... A little zigzagoon. <laughs> oh, oh well. All right. Anyway, let's check this bag. And since this is a randomizer to Nuzlocke, all these Pokemon are randomized. And as you can see right there, my first one is a Magmar. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. I like Magmar. Let's see what's over here. An Apom. Uh, no comment. All right, our last Pokemon is oh, the Brava. Five Brava. Holy crud. Um. Um. I, I, I don't know what to do. You know what? If any are, every anybody who's watching this, comment down below which one I should use. The mo the Pokemon with the most comments will be my starter. Yeah. Comment, comment, comment down below, please. I, I can't choose, man. Y'all are going to choose for me. Well... Pretty, that's that's it first episode to this new adventure is is pretty much over now until next time whenever y'all vote for Vibrava, Magmar or Apom uh, I, I per personally don't prefer to use Apom because it kind of sucks but if y'all choose them that I will use it and that's uh, simple as that but yeah it feels good saying this again stay safe